Right, this is a video about how moments can be used to balance things, okay? Now, imagine for a second we have Mr. Bonner here versus Mr. Allen on a seesaw. Now, Mr. Allen looks very sad because he knows I'm going to beat him at seesaw, but there is a way in which Mr. Allen can win at seesaw, okay? So, moment is a turning force. It's how much force goes into turning something. Moment equals force times distance, okay? So the larger the moment, the more it wants to turn. Force is measured in newtons, distance is measured in meters. So if you times force by distance, you get newtons times meters, so the units for moments are newton meters. So, therefore, Mr. Allen knows he can be dead sneaky, and if Mr. Bonner is sitting here in the seesaw, Mr. Allen, if he provides a moment that is exactly the same, he will be able to provide a balanced seesaw. So what we look at is the distance between the pivot here and where the force is applied. So let's say, for example, this number is 3 meters, and Mr. Bonner has a force, remember we're looking at a force, of 1,000 newtons. The moment would therefore be 1,000 newtons, times 3 meters, which would give us 3,000 newton meters. Now Mr. Allen here, he is going to have a mass of half mine, unfortunately, for me, luckily for him, of 500 newtons. So where should he sit? Mr. Allen needs to provide an equal moment of 3,000 newton meters. Moment. We know that his force generated is 500, uh, 500 uh, newtons. And we need to have a distance. We're not sure where it should be. If we rearrange this, we get 3,000 divided by 500, which equals 6 metres. So Mr. Allen needs to sit right over here, 6 metres back, in order to balance the seesaw.